seriously, how do people wear these and look nice? I look like a knockoff Daphne from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today we are doing a pretty much full face of first impressions. I've got some products that I've seen working their way around the internet on things like Instagram and things that look kind of hyped so I wanted to put them to the test today. I've got some L'Oreal, I've got some Revlon, I've got Zoeva, CYO, MUA, we've got it all. So roll up everybody. <laughs> Take your seats, grab your popcorn and your beverages. What was that? I don't even know. <laughs> and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into the products. Well, that looks great. Um, how do people wear these nicely? I just don't, I just don't get it. I just look like a thumb. Okay, so let's get into trying some of these products. I am excited about some of these. This caught my eye immediately when I went into boots. This is so gorgeous. This is by Revlon. It's the Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer. Look how just beautiful this is. This is supposed to be like a super light formula. It's water-based and it's obviously infused with like a shimmer. It's supposed to be infused with oils that are good for your skin. It's supposed to keep you hydrated for up to 24 hours. So it all sounds very good. It's also got these like beads in here that I think are supposed to burst as you kind of like rub it into the skin. But Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about it and let's just get into it. Even though it looks really nice, it's really not heavy. I was expecting this to have some weight to it, but it's really light. It's got one of those droppers for it. Oh, these beads look weird on the dropper. Can you see them all on there? They're quite big, actually. It has a kind of rosy scent to it, which is not my favorite, but oh well. Okay, let's just go and drop this. Oh, okay, it is a little bit liquidy. It smells quite strong, actually. Just rub this into the skin, ooh. Weird. The beads feel like jelly. Can you see that on the edge of my finger there? A little capsule for the bead. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, is that necessary? I'm gonna try and rub it all in. But like, am I gonna be picking off these like little capsules off my skin? I don't wanna be doing that. It feels nice. It's very lightweight and it's absorbing nicely. I guess there's like a subtle golden sheen, but very, very slight. My skin does feel like hydrated. It almost feels like a smoothing silicone primer, not as heavy. Yeah, I do actually quite like the feeling of that. It's slightly tacky, so hopefully my foundation will stick to it really nicely. The one thing I will say is I can still smell it. Hopefully it'll die down once I put my foundation and everything like that over top. Now for foundation, I've seen this floating around Instagram quite a lot. This is by MUA Makeup Academy. This is the Pro Base Long Wear Matte Finish Foundation. It's supposed to be very blendable, full coverage. It's originally £5 but I got it on offer for like £3.33 for a foundation. Like that's just insane. This is in the shade 101. One thing I will say about this is I was so impressed with the shade range. This actually comes in 24 shades which is awesome for a drugstore foundation. This is like ridiculously thick. It comes with a spatula. Let's just do a little swatch roll by here. That actually looks uh, quite fair. <laughs> when it's blended out, it looks pretty good though. I'm just gonna go on in and just put it on my face. It feels almost like whipped. It is matte as well, so I'm hoping it doesn't like dry down too quickly. So far that's blended out quite nicely. Very lightweight, like I don't feel like I put anything on. Although I will admit my skin is feeling a little bit not dry but just a little bit tight. I would say I'm getting kind of like medium coverage. You can still see on here my skin imperfections are still coming through and everything. I will try building it up to see if I can get more coverage. Matte foundations these days, I don't know, they just don't sit nicely on my skin usually. This one's actually looking pretty good. It's not emphasizing texture. So it's built up a little bit. I would still say it's not the fullest coverage. If you have freckles and acne, it's not gonna cover it up completely. Don't know if it's the primer or the foundation, but my pores are looking so minimized. I'm kind of blown away right now, I'm not gonna lie. So moving right along, I also got the concealer that goes with the foundation. This is the Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer. It's supposed to be lightweight, full coverage, with a smooth a flawless finish. This was £2.50. It's also in the shade 101. It goes with the foundation. So let's see if it will cover up these under eyes. These formulas are like very lightweight. We'll see what kind of coverage it gives now. It doesn't actually say what finish it's supposed to be. It feels a bit more hydrating than the foundation. Okay. 
Yeah. Try going a little bit more because it did say it's buildable. Not a lot of product comes out on the doe foot, which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna leave that there to dry down a little bit just to build up a bit of the coverage. Oh, and that's going on this side. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more on this side too. Why not, eh? Why not? <laughs> Blend this out. Now this has been sitting for a few minutes. Uh, hmm. I don't really like this one. It hasn't given a lot of coverage at all. You can still really see my darkness once it's blended out. Out of the two, I much prefer the foundation. And also I have a feeling this is going to crease like a bit. <laughs> it has set down to pretty much a matte finish on this side now. Like look at all the blueness you can still see here. And my under eyes like feel not dry or tight, but they feel like powdery like I've already set them when I haven't <laughs> but look you can literally <laughs> see everything there which is not what I want for my concealers I'm gonna quickly just go over this and hope I can fix it with my Jouer and Jeffree Star I've been like mixing these together I'm like trialing some combinations right now set my under eyes I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star translucent powder I did review the Jeffree Star powder and the concealer in a video I'll leave it over here in the eye if you're interested just gonna quickly set my face now I think I want to go ahead and do my eyes because I have the Zoe Weaver Melody palette here that I want to test. I have already tried this once. I did film a video on it, but honestly, I didn't like the look that I created. So I wanted to give it another go. Look at the packaging. This is just so beautiful and like so up my alley. You guys probably don't know this about me, but I actually have a butterfly like tattoo on my back. But anyway, this just like spoke to me when I saw it. So let's try this out. I'm going to zoom you guys in and let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my usual P. Louise base, but because this is quite dark for me and today I've got quite a fair foundation on, I'm going to mix it in with the Revolution Conceal and Correct Concealer in the white shade just to get a bit of a lighter base for the eyeshadows. I've done this loads of times and it doesn't actually affect the base at all. All right, a lot of things just happened at once. My camera died, also my laptop died, which is my monitor. I'm both on charge, so if you hear any kind of buzzing, it's because there's interference and I'm so sorry, but there's not a lot that I can do. But anyway, let's move on to the palette. This has some amazing shades in it, like look at that pop of purple. I'm gonna go in with a shade called World Above. Whoa, it is very dusty. Okay, can you see how dusty that shade is? Like, dang see how blendable this is. That's blended out pretty nicely. I quite like that shade a lot. I feel like on camera it's looking a little bit patchy, but it's really not in real life. One thing I will say is it's not as deep as it looks in the pan on the lid. It does sheer out. Obviously with these kind of shades you can get away with a buildable formula because it's just like a transition really. But yeah, no, I quite like that colour. By the way guys, my uh, bandana just came down right now onto my nose and I don't know if you can see, but the foundation like transferred off so now I have a red pat on my nose so just to make you aware this is not transfer proof my only kind of problem with this palette is you have like one warm tone matte so now I'm gonna have to go in with like a cooler tone brown with this and I don't know how I feel about that I'm gonna go in with the shade called fly solo again this is quite dusty I'm just gonna pop this on the outer corner here like this is a very dark shadow to kind of jump to if you know what I mean I feel like that should be a medium tone mm, this one isn't really blending out that well see when I first tried out this palette I just thought I didn't like the look that I created but maybe I just didn't like the shadow <laughs> okay now I've like built it up and kind of layered it it has blended out better I do want to add a little bit more depth so I'm gonna go in with the color about to leave which is the deepest matte in the palette I'm just going to just base this right on the outer corner. Let's move on to the shimmers, which may I say look absolutely incredible in here. There are just some stunning colors. I really want to use this lighter shade over here, which has like a purpley bluey reflect. It looks so pretty. This we're gonna try the warm tone shimmer, which is called Airy Deliance. And ooh, my gosh, okay. These are very creamy. They're like creamy but crumbly at the same time. I'm gonna use my P. Louise base to do this real quick. Okay, now let's go in with the shadow. I'm excited. Ooh, it is very peachy. It's actually kind of looking a bit dull. There's really not much of a sheen in there. That's disappointing. <laughs> maybe if I go in with my finger, maybe that will be better. Feels so, so creamy. Okay. That's a little bit better. Now I'm gonna take the shade from Heaven and I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna go in with my finger. This is such a pretty shade. I hope this looks nice on the lid. Okay, it's not really transferring from my finger. I'll try with a brush again. Uh, I'm really not impressed with these. Very sheer, so they don't give like a crazy payoff. They're very movable, 
as well. And can you see all of that fallout I have there? That's from the shimmers. How am I gonna get rid of this? <laughs> Look at good news is it just dusts away. Okay, it has left like a little bit of a shimmer on the top of my cheek, but it's fine. It's Hi. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I am back and I've done my other eye and also my lower lash line and I just wanted to explain what I've done. So I warmed up the bottom of the lash line with the first colour we went in which is World Above. Then I went in with About To Leave right on the outer corner with a very light hand so it just added like a little bit of depth. Then I tight lined with a brown and I also went over the top of my lash line and kind of lined my eyes with About To Leave and just kind of smoked out the lash line just a little bit. I put a nude pencil in my waterline and then I also went over it because I really wanted to try some of the other shimmers in here. I went three quarters of the way in with the colour Cocoon of Doubt which is like this kind of bronzy gold colour and it's just added like a slight sheen to the nude eyeliner. And then on the inner corner and inner third of my waterline I went over the top with From Heaven which is the one we use in the middle of the lid. I will say I actually quite like this look now. I didn't enjoy the journey but now as like a completed look I feel like it looks really nice. I would say the shimmers are best used with your finger. This eye turned out a lot better and I just use my fingers with the shimmers and I don't know if you can tell but there's an update on the foundation. It has like gone real patchy on my nose. I know it came off a little bit earlier but it's like looking very dry right now and I haven't had it on for that long. Like under an hour I've had this on and it's already doing this and I feel like it's starting to settle in my pores and it's creasing around my nose by here. Mm. I don't like how it's looking. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next product. I have a new mascara to try. This is the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Curl Addict. And this is just in the shade black. Oh, wow. That is a beefy looking wand. Okay, let's just go on in. This is a very dry formula. I think it's already kind of flaking. Not what I want when I first open a mascara. It almost has like a powdery feeling to it, if that makes sense. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. When you first put dry shampoo in and it kind of like stiffens up your hair and then you brush it out and you have that kind of powdery residue. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> I hope that makes sense to people out there. The brush as well is like super bristly. So like I'm trying to like push it up against my lashes and I feel like it's too soft to kind of grip them. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's okay, but I don't know. My Revolution one does a better job. And I also think it's cheaper than this. <laughs> ah no. God damn it. I'm just gonna leave that dry and then scrape it off. Tip for you. Don't go rubbing it off right now when it's wet because it'll smudge. I'm just gonna leave it there to fester. For brows, I have this interesting product from MUA again. It is the Brow Define Eyebrow Pencil with Blending Brush. Not a spoolie, a straight up brush. I think NYX also has one of these. I don't know, let's try it out. Let's not knock it till we try it. It's a very dense brush, so it is kind of working, but it's not like brushing through the head. It's just like moving them. For the actual brow product, I got the color Mid Brown, and it's one of these kind of teardrop applicators. My eyebrows are in such bad condition right now. I'm actually having them done tomorrow. This month is actually my birthday month, so I need to look prim and proper, so I'm getting my eyebrows done <laughs> for once in my life. Yeah, this isn't too bad. It's actually a decent pencil. It's not too firm and it's not too soft as well. I don't really like the shape of the actual applicator though. That's just a personal preference. A tip for you though, if you want to go to the outer corner with these, turn it upside down so then the actual point faces the end of your brow so you're not going to get like a clump of product at the end there. Okay, so I'm just applying like a line of the product underneath here and then what I'm going to try and do is blend it upwards with the brush so we get this kind of gradient effect. Did that do anything? I'm gonna try and blend the product through my brow as well. I don't. I don't like this brush. <laughs> I just feel like it moves the product too much. I feel like I now have a blurry brow and I'm gonna have to go in with concealer to sort that out. Look at that uneven line at the top there, like, oh my gosh, no. Oh, you might as well go in and do the other eyebrow, so I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I cleaned up my brows as much as possible for the moment. Hold on tomorrow. <laughs> I've got crusty ass foundation lips and it is disgusting. <laughs> now I wanna move on to the face. Let's zoom you guys out just a little bit and continue on this saga. Okay, I'm just now realizing I have a lot of MUA in this video. <laughs> I've got this MUA matte bronzer and this is in the shade Solar, which is like the light 
lighter shade. Granted, it still looks very warm. I feel like it looks warmer on camera than it does in person though. It is pressed very hard in the pan. There's like no kick up. Let's see what kind of pigment we get. Okay, it's very subtle. I like a subtle buildable bronzer because obviously I am very fair. It's blended out really nicely. There's no patchiness. Mm. It is coming across quite orange toned on my skin though and I tend to go for more of a yellow goldeny toned bronzer like the Fenty one that I really like and also from like my Makeup Revolution contour kit but at least it's sheer and buildable. I do actually really like the way that it looks. <sighs> I don't have a blush to try. God dang it. I'm just gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics blush palette and just pop on some blush. Be right back and this foundation is not it. It's starting to move as I'm blending things on top of it and it's a matte foundation so it's not supposed to do that. What is going on right now? Maybe that's why people use it on Instagram so they can just take it off right afterwards. Sorry that was a bit of shade but it needed to be said. <laughs> Alright so I have this highlighter that I probably should have put on earlier. It's by CUIO and it's a new Bounce Beam Multi-Use Illuminating Jelly so it's a jelly highlighter. Uh, so I don't know how this is gonna go with powder. I've got the colour Golden Sparkle which looks absolutely gorgeous so let's open this up. A champagne light gold with pink and blue glitters in it. This is what it looks like. Can you see that? It looks Magical. I'm gonna try applying this with my finger. Oh, it feels very wet. Ooh, let's just tap this on and hope for the best. Oh my gosh. It's a very wet consistency, so it blends out really easily actually. It's more sparkle than anything. Oh my gosh, I'm getting it everywhere. I'm hoping this is gonna dry down because it does actually still feel kind of wet on the skin. That is so pretty. Like this would be perfect for like a festival. You definitely do not need a lot of this. It goes a very long way. Maybe I should use this for like a festival inspired look or something. So cool. They had other colors as well, but I thought this one would be more wearable. <laughs> and it's completely dried down as well. Don't need to have any excess coming off. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. I actually want to kind of put some of this on my lids. Let's just pop it in the middle here. Look at that, oh my gosh. Oh, this is like a new fave product, I think. And like you can blend it out really nicely just with a clean finger. Just go on in and you can just pat out the edges and make a nice gradient. I am so so impressed with this. What the heck? CYO, this is such a good formula and works so well. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna put it everywhere now. Maybe I went a bit too overboard. Um, <laughs> you know what I don't get? I don't care anymore, I just don't. I do have a feeling this is the kind of product that will dry out if you don't have the lid tightly pressed on so just remember to put the lid on properly and you should be golden. I have this new lip liner from NYX. I've tried NYX's lip liners before but this is a new shade. You hate it when that happens. God damn cellophane wrapping. Oh my god. Why? Thank you. This is the matte lip liner formula and it's in the shade Los Angeles. Which is just a, a nude. <laughs> my lips are so dry and crusty right now and it is offensive. <laughs> But I really like that colour and I don't have a new lipstick to try but I have a new gloss so I just kind of filled the majority of my lips in with the lip liner apart from like the spaces I wanted to highlight and this is the crowd pleaser gloss by CYO it's a pretty kind of peachy gloss with like gold metallic it looks really nice oh my gosh that smells so good it smells like vanilla frosting mm. Oh my god. Uh, I really want to eat it. It tastes that good. Not a lot of product comes on the applicator, which is kind of annoying. But oh my gosh, it feels heavenly on the lips. Mm, I keep wanting to eat it. <laughs> Do have to keep on dipping in, which is kind of annoying. Mm. It's so soft. It feels really nourishing on the lips. Like it feels good. Does it taste good? It tastes kind of vanilla-y, but it doesn't taste as vanilla-y as it smells. <laughs> I like that. Oh my gosh, it's not sticky at all. It is so comfortable. CYO is coming through in this video. It just feels like a nourishing lip oil. Like I had dry, crusty ass lips, okay, before I put this on and now they feel nourished and plump and they look good. Final product I have to try is a setting spray. This is the Shake and Glow by L'Oreal. It's a luminous setting spray. Again, this is a product that claims to have hydration for 24 hours, which you know, I could do with. So I'm excited to try this. It literally says like shake on the bottle. So I'm hoping if this is an luminous setting spray that I'm not gonna end up with little specks of sparkle all over my face. So I'm gonna shake this vigorously. Let's try the spray real quick. Ooh, that was actually quite a fine miss. And mm, does that smell like vanilla too, or is that just my lip gloss? Let's see what this goes on like. Oh my gosh. Mmm. 
Oh, the spray on this is so good. It's so fine. Oh, and it's all over my mouth. No glitter particles, no speckles on the face. We have come across some wins today. I really like this. Again, just look at this spray, okay? So good. And for a drugstore product, why is nobody talking about this? Like somebody needs to talk about this. <laughs> this stuff is amazing. And bearing in mind I was wearing a matte foundation, I do now have a subtle glow to my skin. Can you see it on my forehead there? Whether this is gonna make my makeup last longer, I do not know. All I know is this is going in my top drawer to keep on trying. Okay, so that was the final product. Let's zoom you guys out and discuss my overall thoughts. Okay guys, let's talk about these products and what I think about them from a first impression standpoint. Primer, I'm not sure if it really did anything, but I really felt like my skin was hydrated and it felt slightly tacky and my skin did look very smooth and poreless. I don't know whether this is this or the foundation, but I do really like the way that this made my skin feel. It left a subtle glow that did also help the foundation give a little bit of radiance. Didn't really like the kind of plasticky gel ball things that were in there. Could do without the rose scent. I can't smell it anymore. If this product didn't have it, I would probably prefer it. Bronzer I actually really like and now that my makeup is all done, it's actually a decent shade. There was no patching, there was no blotching, it just blended seamlessly onto my skin. If you're very fair like myself then pick this up. It's very cheap. Super drug. It's worth a try. This worked really well and I am super duper impressed. These two CYO products, I think that I made that obvious. I really am thinking about getting the other shades of this glitter highlighter. Like, it is so insanely pretty, but it's not over the top. It's not too chunky. It's like that very fine micro glitter that from afar just looks like a very beaming highlight, but then when you get up close, you can really see the like sparkle. I think this is one of my favorite jelly highlighters I have ever tried. And also, bear in mind, I had powdered my face, so this went over powder really well and set down completely. Honestly, 10 out of 10 for this. This is one of the best jelly highlighters that I personally tried. And the gloss, again, we're doing a Sebastian. Gonna pucker up the lips like this. I love the way that this feels because I can't feel it. <laughs> I hate sticky gloss. They're not sticking together. They feel nice and moisturized and hydrated. I want to go get more shades of this. Like, this is so good. Next product that just blew my mind again was this from L'Oreal. This friggin' heavenly misted thing. Don't inhale it. It says on the bottle, don't inhale it, okay? Although, it's so easy to do because the mist is so fine. It's so fine. I really love what this does to my skin. It gives you that sheen. It's kind of like a lip from within kind of vibes. I think this was like £10, like £9.99, something like that. So, not the most affordable, but the mist alone is worth a tenner, okay? <laughs> this is some Glam Glow cover effects kind of spray, okay? Even the Morphe Continuous Spray has a bit more of an aggressive spray than this. I will definitely be using this some more. This feels so good and refreshing on the skin. Obviously, I like the NYX pencils, one of my favorite pencils. I really like the formula of these, just a different shade. And again, I like the shade. Obviously, I use these throughout the video, the Jeffree Star concealer and powder. I've got a full review on these. I'll leave it in the eye over here if you are interested. Just wanna keep trying these and testing these to see if I really like them or not. This is a kind of in-between product and it's the eyeshadow palette by Zoeva. I don't know, this one's a little bit of a weird one. I love the concept of all the colors in here. Mats were decently pigmented and they blended out very easily, but I feel like the tones are like a little bit off, like they don't all work together. And it was just a bit more effort to blend than kind of what I wanted to have to do, if I'm honest. I like the eyeshadow now that it's all kind of come together, but I do feel like it was a little bit of a struggle and I was questioning my skills and I just don't know. Just something about this palette didn't meld together for me. The metallics in here look very pretty, but on the actual eye, don't come across the same way as they do in the pan. We'll see how this works out in the future, but at the moment, as a first impression, did not blow me away. And finally, here are the duds of the video. <laughs> So first of all, this eyebrow thing, it just, uh, it's, it's just a gimmick. The whole brush thing, it's just not very controllable. If I wanted to have like a blurred effect through my brows, I would just use a brow powder. I'd use my browsings or I'd go in with like an eyeshadow or something to give that kind of fluffed out effect. It does not work with a pencil. Control eyebrow product is decent, but I don't like the shape of it. It's too big. I have quite big, thick eyebrows. I still felt the struggle with using this. It makes it like patchy and it doesn't blend out properly. It doesn't give a good brow day. The mascara is a pass for me. This was just, I don't know, kind of like a powdery formula and just didn't do it for my lashes. <laughs> and then, 
these two. The ones that I saw all over Instagram and I felt so hyped about. And in the beginning, it looked good. And it was a great shade for me. But looking at it now, oh boy. For one, it's completely patched up on my nose. It feels dry, it's still malleable. I'm starting to kind of cling on to some spots that I've got on my face here. It's kind of come up on my chin. It's not transfer proof, so I'm feeling as I'm touching my face and things, it's moving round and coming off. It isn't going into fine lines or anything. Also, it's doing that kind of like speckly thing around my pores as I'm like producing oil. Gross. But yeah, it's not looking good. And I kept the worst for last. This concealer is so freaking bad. Like it gives like no coverage at all. It just patches up and also it made me look about 80 years old. Uh, it creased and gave me no coverage. So it's a no. All right, you guys. So that is it for this video of testing new products. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if there were any products that you were curious about, I hope you learned a little bit about what they do and whether they're good or bad. In my opinion, anyway, I could have possibly found some new favorites in this video today. So that makes me happy. And that is why I love doing these kind of videos. So if you enjoy these kind of videos and you want to see more like this, then please hit the thumbs up button so I know. And also subscribe to the channel. Hit the red button down below. And also hit the bell next to it so you get notified of my videos. But yeah, I think that is it for today. In my next video, hopefully, I'll look a little bit more together. I'll have my nails done. I'll have my eyebrows done. And yeah, I'll just be a brand new version of myself. I'm turning 25 this month. <sighs> 25. Mm. Okay, anyway, <laughs> with that said, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, bye guys. I, I have had, I have words. Just let, but let's just go, uh, have I got it in my hair? Oh no, I do. Oh no. How? Like I put a bandana in my hair so I don't need in primers in the world. But uh, it does give me like a slittle. A slittle? <laughs> what? Okay. And since they've come up with like... Oh. Ooh.